What is going on guys and welcome to the video. I know I look a little bit different. Last time you saw me, I didn't have these bangs, so I'm working with them. They've been a new addition to my hair changes. I know I've done a lot of hair changes. I hope that you like them. Leave a comment down below, something nice. But anyways, I don't know if you know this, surprise, I'm back in Jacksonville. I left from Canada to go to Sacramento to watch my friend Patrick McInnes or Patty Lifts on Instagram if you follow him. He competed in a bodybuilding competition at the California Muscle Mayhem. Him. So we went to go watch and support him, Jeff and I, Rashawn as well. And then from Sacramento, we actually hopped over to LA because we were so close by. So we went to LA, enjoyed a few days over there. And now I'm in Jacksonville, just spending a few days with my family. Um, my family is very important to me. So mommy, you want to say hello to my vlog? Hi. I say hi. hi. <laughs> you're going to be on my video. Oh, okay. oh, you're going to be famous, mommy. <laughs> yeah. I'm a famous. Yeah. <laughs> I do do prioritize seeing them and visiting them as much as I possibly can. However, today another reason that I'm actually in Jacksonville, I actually have an interview. It's for a company that does marketing research. I guess they just want to learn a little bit from me. So I am on my way to go do that. I'm dressed up a little bit. So wish me luck. maybe one or two sentences what the mission statement more or less of Mech Labs is. To discover why people say yes. Oh. All right guys, so I am just recently finishing up. It went really well. It just went a little bit longer than was expected. Apparently I talk a lot. They just should have just told me to shut up. I had a lot to say and the facility was crazy. It was kind of like the first time I've ever been in like a very professional studio setup before. I have my own little lo-fi studio as you guys know, but it was definitely interesting to see how like professionals do it. Yeah, it was really cool. I'll probably overlay some clips of the facility. It was crazy. They do so much research there, just like market research marketing science and why people say yes I am going to go home and get something to eat and then I'm going to go to the gym so I'll see you when I get home okay guys so I just got back I was sitting in traffic for quite a while so it is currently 6 13 at night I am going to have a little snack before I go to the gym I'm gonna make a wrap with one of these wraps they're pretty good on macros 3.5 fat 16 carb 8 protein that's really high protein dang um, my sister picked those up that's why I'm not really familiar with them but they look good I'm also going to have smoked turkey breast on it and I just throw some mustard. I need something really quick because I'm feeling really lazy and tired and don't really feel like making a whole meal. And I'm also gonna have some berries with it. Gonna take my Symbiont GI, which I take with all of my bigger meals. It is a digestive enzyme and probiotic. I take it three times a day with my three biggest meals. And have this wrap and make it really quick and then eat it and then maybe I'll lay down for a bit before I go to the gym. I'm feeling really tired. I'm gonna make this happen. So this is something super quick and easy if you are in a hurry or just really lazy. So I'm gonna finish this up, chill for a bit, probably take some pre-workout before I go train. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little food review because I saw someone posted these on Instagram and I had to pick them up. I tried them and they're absolutely delicious. They're pretty macro friendly, but dieting or not, you need to try these. These are super good. This is the cinnamon swirl. They're tiny little rice cakes, but they're coated with either white chocolate or regular chocolate. This is the s'mores flavor. Per serving, which is 21 of these little pieces, is 3.5 fat, 15 carb, one protein. They look like this, they're coated. This one's coated in like a white chocolate drizzle. This is a cinnamon swirl. They're really, really good. Mmm, super good. I'll show you the s'mores ones. I think I like the cinnamon swirl ones better, but they're very good by a company called Drizzlicious. That sounds like a bad rapper's name. Mmm, these are money. Hey, you know what I just noticed? Mm. You haven't had those in forever. That's not the original though. Can you have some cheese ball tub with breakfast? <laughs> I'm gonna have cheese ball tub with every meal. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I just rode from the dead. I'm gonna make Don't this look workout like it. happen. Yeah, I'm a little bit dead tired. <laughs> Alright, so since it's so late at night, although I need the energy, if I take something with caffeine, I will never go to sleep. So, we are gonna take half volume, caffeine free pre-workout. It is a pump product. 
which I'm going to need for this glute workout. Make my butt look good. I'm gonna take two scoops of this. Hopefully I have, I put a little more pep in my step for the clips and I'll make it, I'll make it happen. <laughs> what is going on guys and welcome to the voiceover. So as I have been hyping this for a while now, you guys know that Jeff and I are releasing a Steph and Jeff glute focused hypertrophy program that was curated by the both of us. They are full body programs, but with of course a primary focus on the glutes and lower body. This workout is one of the workouts from the advanced glute program as we are releasing an advanced version and an intermediate version. I will be doing a video in the very near future with more details, but if you wanna sign up to get up Updates on the launch date, there will be a link down below for it. I cannot tell you how excited I am about it. We've worked really hard to make it challenging, unique, and fun. And I really appreciate all the supportive and excited comments you guys leave me whenever I talk about it. Okay, so let's just get to the workout, shall we? So after a solid warm up, we're starting off with barbell stiff leg deadlifts. I'm doing a light warm up before jumping into my working weight of 135 pounds, which is pretty heavy for this movement. And this is because we are doing four work sets of only four reps. So make sure you pick a weight that will be challenging for you to do only four. And this should be hard, working at 80% of your max weight or in RPE 8. You're going to feel an intense stretch in your hamstrings on the eccentric or the negative, where you will stop mid shin and drive your hips forward. Think of performing hip extension to bring the weight back up you should not be relying on using your lower back. So if you feel it way too much in your lower back, the weight might be too heavy, so drop it back a bit. Next exercise is a machine hack squat. And I know that machine hack squats come in all shapes and sizes, but you wanna get a machine that will allow for a deep range of motion to target your glutes. You want to be mindful of making sure you drive up with your heels. And we're doing reps of eight, so leaving a few reps in the tank. So we're not taking these reps too close to failure. We wanna have enough energy for the remainder of the workout. And I was really trying to get deep and then driving through my heels while making sure to engage and control my glutes. Hoping that they give me extra, extra strength. <laughs> Donut pump. Next up is a dumbbell frog pump. And I started with just body weight to make sure I was getting that mind muscle connection with my glutes. And then I added a dumbbell to really get my glutes firing. With this pumper exercise, you are doing two working sets of 30. Yes, 30. So don't grab a dumbbell that's going to be way too heavy. This will be challenging and your glutes should be on fire at the end of the 30 reps, working at an RPE 8. After that, we are doing an eccentric accentuated lying leg curl, which is a mouthful, trust me, where you are focusing on the eccentric, otherwise known as the negative. There are quite a few exercises in this program with eccentric accentuated loading, and it's something that I find has really made a difference in my training, as well as in the research with evidence supporting greater strength and hypertrophy gains. I've shown you guys this before doing an exercise with enhanced eccentrics by controlling or slowing the tempo, which is also great, but if you have a training partner with you, give it a try where someone holds back the leg pad and you have to fight against them on the negative. It's super hard as it should be and you're going to be working with a weight that you're only doing six reps at an rp8 so this should be a heavier load next we're going to jump back to very high reps and a lower load with a standing cable hip abduction and these ankle cuffs are like 10 bucks on amazon so i highly recommend getting your own because these are very few and far between at most gyms with this exercise you are doing two sets on each leg of 20 reps and you're going to abduct your leg out while really focusing on contracting your glute. You can palpate your glutes just to make sure that you're using your glutes to lift up your leg. And lastly, just to top off this workout, we're going to be doing standing calf raises. My gym didn't have the machine for this, but this is another awesome way to do these and still make sure you're getting a full stretch in your calves. I don't recommend doing these just standing on the floor. Either use a machine or try to find some sort of box, stair, or a step. And the key cue for this is to make sure you are not bouncing at the bottom, which is technically cheating. You wanna get a full stretch, then pause, and then drive up with your calves. You can do this with body weight, single legged, or holding a weight for extra resistance. And I really believe that calves do complete a physique, so don't neglect them.
What's up guys? So it's actually a couple days later and I just finished up the edits on this video. It should be going live in a couple of days. And I really hope that you like the workout. I really hope that you learned something from it. If you did, leave me a like. It really helps me out. And also leave me a like if you're excited to hear more about the program that Jeff and I are releasing very soon. I will be doing another video in the very near future to let you know more about it. But if you'd like to stay up to date, go ahead and click the link down below underneath my mailing list and you will hear everything that there is to know as soon as it comes out. And lastly, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Skillshare for supporting this video. Skillshare has been consistently supporting my channel, so I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much, Skillshare. And if you're unfamiliar, Skillshare is an online learning resource that I direct anybody to who's interested in starting their own YouTube channel because there's amazing courses on teaching you how to use editing software like the one that I use, which is Final Cut Pro, or anybody who's interested in starting their own business, which is something that is really new to me now as a new business owner. So as you guys know, I had to start an email list just to keep you guys in the loop and I had to learn how to create an email list. So I actually use Skillshare to help me out and I use a course called MailChimp Tutorial for Beginners, which is a service that I use to create my email list. I highly recommend that course if you have your own business or you are interested in starting your own email list. And memberships for Skillshare start at only $10 a month. However, Skillshare is kindly offering the first 500 people who click on the first link in the description box below to get two free months of full access to all 22,000 courses for free. Go ahead and check it out. I think you'll find something that you'll be interested in. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love that you constantly give me. I will see you in a video really soon. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.